Okay, we finished with that little sequence. Now we're on to a few personal questions. Did you enjoy the evening? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, you look like you're ready for anything. Oh yeah. 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 Don't get it off me, slag. Hello. Oh, lovely, lovely. Okay, right. Who, who, if you were Marilyn Monroe now and you were living, who would be shagging you? Oh, well, everybody, really, because, you know, I'd be get, getting a bit bored with just, you know, one person at a time. Yeah, so. the film stars, you go for the more common pubic people. Oh, so. yeah, yeah. I mean, I like to keep in touch with my pubic. Mm. Would you wear ratness jewellery? Oh, yeah, loads of it. Yeah, loads of it. yeah, loads. Because yeah, it's crap, you know. I know, I know, I just love that she crap. She does all, already. Crap all over me. She's covered with it. <laughs> You've seen her nipples? Yeah. I've seen her knickers. With, it's all full of crap. <laughs> <laughs> mm. um, one for the lady over here. Yes. What That's no lady. <laughs> Sorry, it's your just mother. watch it. Um... What would, you, would you mind stop interfering with this personage? <laughs> right, serious question now. What would you do with the fifty pound if you won a bathing beauty contest? <laughs> <laughs> with your figure. <laughs> Full of bathing beauty. I will take that last remark and suggest you might like to stick it up your backside. Um, <clears throat> what I would do. <laughs> Well, no, not with a 50 quid, dear. I think I'd actually take that and uh, buy myself the most wonderful um, rubber garment. Uh, yes, 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 well, yes, exactly. I like rubber uh, very much. Are you in Essex? No, I'm not. I'm, no, I'm a London girl. I, li I like clubs like um, Sadie Maisie and, um, uh, yeah. Well, yes. Is it true that London girls, you can always tell when they're coming because they always drop their bag of chips? <laughs> <laughs> and they always call their own name. <laughs> I'll remember what you said. <laughs> I'll remember what you said and I'll, uh, <clears throat> I'll check next time. And if it doesn't work, I'll just remind that the sleazy little tart called Miss Courage actually asked me that question in the first place. <laughs> Okay, right. Now, the next important question is, how would life change you if you owned a brewery? Well, that's an interesting question, actually. Would you put five-star brandy on your cornflakes? No, I wouldn't. But I'd take the money and I'd run. Well, yes, but you'd have to earn it first, surely, which you've been doing anyway. Well, yes, exactly. But if I owned a brewery, darling, I would take the money. <laughs> Right, okay, let's move on to this other pleb here. If you if you were a sex change, how would it change your life? Oh, it'd be fab. I could dress like my friend Bunty. Oh, but you can anyway, honey. Oh. Yes, yes, you can, you can. <laughs> right, so what about if you won 50 quid in a beauty bathing contest in Butlin? Well, Maplin. Oh, no, Butlin's, they wouldn't know that. I'd stuff it down my stocking tops. Yes, and what, what, what would you do then? I would just stay there till I found a nice... Hmm, if you could be in the movies, what position would you like? Missionary. <laughs> <laughs> With what? The producer, the cameraman? No, mm. oh, the lead. Oh, the lead. And who would you like to be the lead? Clark Gable. Oh, God. What about yeah. Madonna? <laughs> what about being in bed with Madonna? Oh, no, thanks. Mm. Smell of anchovies. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, too cute. Um, if you could... Um, oh, I know. Um, if I was first prize in a, in a fabulous draw that you won off the back, it, back of a cornflake packet, how would we um, get together? No wee, honey. I'd run. I wouldn't even take the money. OK, right. Let's move on to this person here. If you were Queen of England, how would that change your life? Well, not a great deal, really, because I already live in a palace that's all full of guilt and I have loads of fur and a few 
dogs and stuff like I that. I actually thought the guilt was in your brain. Oh, well, I have it everywhere, you know. Yeah, in the past life. What? In your past life. In my past life, yes. yeah. Well, yeah, possibly. Possibly. Mm. I mean, you She's know, I suppose... She's got a past, you know. She really has got a past. I mean, I've probably come down a bit from royalty, you know, just lately. But, mm -hmm. you know, I've got it in there. I could be mm. there. Mm. Can yeah. I talk about your past? No, no, no we won't go no, into no, that. No, it takes too long. What, um... I mean, if you had three gorgeous sons like the Queen, would you be shagging one of them now? Um... Not if they were like the Queen's, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, they're not pretty enough, big enough? They're Which not enough? anything. Oh, I see. If you, well, OK, well, we'll move on then. Yeah, if if, if on. you were a Queen and you had um, a ball and you happened to be first prize and you were Bella the ball yeah, and yeah. you had a night well, out... Well, it's quite likely, really, isn't it? Well, yeah, yes. Means, yeah. Well, I know things swing one way and swing the other. Um... And first prize was anybody you'd like to pick, apart from your own tits and your yeah. nose. Who would you like to go out with? Oh, oh, well, well, I don't know really, but um, mm. I don't, I don't know. I've I've heard of this this Miss Carriage, mm -hmm. um, who who just sounds such a wonderful person. You'd just want to go out with them, wouldn't you? All right. Okay. Well, which brings us to the last question: What do virgins have for breakfast? I don't know. What do virgins have for breakfast? Right. This, this morning I had egg and bacon <laughs> and a large sausage. And I think we'll leave it there. Smile at the camera, people.